Hey, friends all over the world. I hope you are doing well. I want to ask you a very profound question. Don't answer it too quickly. I want you to ponder what I'm saying before you answer. Don't, don't just immediately answer this question, but I want you to really think about what I'm asking you because this is a very important question, probably the most important question that you will ever be asked in your life. One of the most important questions that you will ever be asked in your life. So I want you to hear it and hear it very well and hear it clear and understand it and think about it before you answer. What do you really believe? What do you really believe? Now, the reason why this is such a profound question is because in this day and age, everything you say you believe will be challenged. We're seeing it right now. We're seeing it right now. We are seeing it unfold before our eyes that, that what we said we believed has been challenged in ways that we never probably even dreamt possible. What do you really believe? See, everything that's going on in society, everything that's going on with people's health, everything that's going on with, with, with the news, the media, all of this stuff is putting to the test what you say you really believe. I believe God's in control. Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that? Oh, I trust God. I know he'll protect me. Do you really believe that? Because as the old folks would say, the proof is in the pudding. When the rubber meets the road, everything you believe must be made manifest. Yeah, I remember years ago, uh, I had a, I was a kid. I was a child at the time. And my father brought me this, uh, this this necklace. Now, I assume, he never told me, I assume it was real gold. I did. I was like, oh, I got this gold necklace. And I was walking around boasting about it to my neighbors and friends. And, and I'm, I'm excited about this thing. And, uh, and, and one of the neighbors said, that's not real. I said, yes, it is. And we're going back and forth. He says, no, it's not. Somehow my necklace was stolen. And they took my necklace for hours. They washed it in all kinds of chemicals, bleach and and detergent and 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 drainage cleaner and the, and they brought back this little black lead looking thing and they said, See, I told you it wasn't real. And that's a disturbing story. First of all, who in their right mind would steal a necklace and do all of that? You have to be a demon to even fathom something like that. But as upset as I was, I had to come to the, to the reality that my necklace was not real because if it were real gold, it would have stood the test. It would have stood the test. It would have exemplified its nature through the trial. I mean, we're seeing people, you thought you, you thought you, 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 you thought they believed. You thought they had faith in God. You thought they trusted God. And I'm not saying there are times where we don't get challenged and we don't have difficult seasons and, and stuff we have to walk through and times where we need encouragement and we need support. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about what you believe in your core. What you believe in your core is being tested. What do you really believe? What do you really believe? Because your faith has to have evidence. Your faith has to have evidence. Faith is not just for the shore, it's for the storm. Everybody says, 
Oh, we go, oh yeah, we trust God. But the minute the disciples got in the middle of the water and the, and the water was overwhelming the boat, they said, you brought us out here to perish. Don't you care that we perish? And Jesus rebukes them. And he says, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Why, why are you doubting me? I told you we're going to the other side. That didn't change. The storm doesn't change the instruction. The waves didn't change what I promised you. The wind doesn't change the word. Can I say that one more time? The wind doesn't change the word. He meant it the first time. But do you believe it? Do you believe it? What do you really believe? Because I'm telling you, we're coming into days where what you believe will be tested. What you believe will be tried. You're going you're gonna to have to really believe God's a supernatural God. You're going to have to really believe that Jesus is the healer. You're going to have to really believe that God is your provider. Not Dogecoin, not Bitcoin, not Forex trading, not money markets. God is your provider. Do we really believe that Jesus took two fish and five loaves of bread and multiplied it? Those days are coming. Mark my words. Those days are here where we have to really, really believe what we've been reading all these years, really believe the songs we've been singing all these years, really believe the claims we've been making all these years. We, we sing songs in church. You're my provider, provider, and that's going to be tested. You are my healer, my healer, that's going to be tested. Do you really believe he's the healer? When you get a diagnosis that doesn't look like what he said, do you stand on the word believing that what he promised you is what he will perform? What do you believe? The proof is in the pudding. The rubber must meet the road. Your faith must have evidence. Share this.